I am no one, Gabrielle. I have no sparkles. Hi, guys. And we're going to have a little fun today. I feel like we're in for something really good. <laughs> she looks dangerous and fun. <laughs> right on. Hi, guys. This is Play It Again. I'm Ginger. And I'm Mike. And we are returning to an all-time favorite of ours. Yeah. I, I've lost track of Billy Bragg over the last 20 or more years. Mm -hmm. But I did come across something, I guess Facebook or Twitter or something, wherever I was, that Billy Bragg had a recent album. Yes. That we know nothing about. No, we had no idea he had a new album out. It's been a while. I think the last one I had was the one he did with Wilco. Mm -hmm. With well, uh, California stars on it. You know, I don't listen to the radio anymore, and I haven't set foot in a record store in literally years. So yeah. I guess, how would I know he had a new album? I guess, well, it's a good thing we got peeps and f notifications on Facebook, I guess. But you guys, you got to understand, Billy Bragg has been a favorite of ours since way, way back. I have seen him live in concert at least four times. Mm. I love Billy Bragg. I have not had the privilege. We've had... Oh, between us, at least a dozen of his albums. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we got lots of Billy Bragg. Yeah, between Billy Bragg and Morrissey. <laughs> those are our biggest collections, guys. Probably true. Yeah. And the thing with Billy Bragg is, and with Morrissey too, actually, is... It's the clever lyric. Your, your favorite songs and my favorite songs are never the same ones. No, they're very I different. love the same artist for completely different songs. It's really weird, right? Really weird. So, this is the new one. What did you say it's called? Mid-century modern. Mid-century modern. So we'll see. Is this a ooh, mosquito? Is this a is this a ginger likes or Mike likes? Both or neither, I guess. It's almost never both. It's Only true. a couple. Yeah. Have ever been both. So we'll see. Ooh, that one. That one had some of me in it. <laughs> All right, here we go.
to guess that that was more along my style of Billy Bragg like yeah it was pretty good but it was more your style of Billy song than my yeah, style I always of Billy like song. the lighter poppier stuff better yeah. than Mike he likes the the dirgy stuff kind of reminded me of the stuff he did with Will um oh I wasn't gonna say that like it had like kind of a California Stars kind California of California Stars though was a bit of an outlier on that album a lot of the other stuff was was more like was yeah no california stars was quite a bit different on that album from all the other songs on that album so I that's kind of the comparison. kind of the one it made me think of which was with yeah, Loco. yeah yeah i agree yeah and uh yeah more along the lines of like um you woke up my neighborhood mm. and yeah well, i can't think of a bunch of them right now i've got a million song names running through my head but uh yeah no it was it was good. It was sweet. I really liked it. I liked the line, uh, the gap between the man I am and the man I want to yeah, be. Yeah, but he's, he's got really, away with the poignant line, doesn't I he? I love his lyric. Yeah. Right? Like, it, that's, it's funny because his style of music has never been really the kind of music I've always really liked, but I've always really loved Billy Bragg, even still, because some of his stuff, the lyrical genius in it is just really... It's impactful. Yeah. Oh, I have a ton of respect for him as a poet, for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and it felt good to hear his voice again because I haven't heard anything from him in a while. It did, and I have to remark, and no, none of you are going to get it, but trust me when I tell you, it's it's astonishing to me how much he looks like my Uncle Mike right now. <laughs> I was thinking Greg Keeler. I <laughs> guess from, from Blue Rodeo, I guess as you get old and bearded and gray, you all tend to look the same. <laughs> He's grayer than you are right now. He's older than me. Is he that much older than me? At least 10 years. You think he's 10 yeah. years older than me? Yes. I'm a young pup. I'm going to have to look it up now <laughs> just to see. But uh, I'm, he really does look like my Uncle Mike. I see what you mean about Kaler, though. I can see that, too. Is it just because all white-haired guys look the white same? White-haired guys with beards. I don't know about that. They start that, to look the same, I guess. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm was, joining you soon, fellas. Freak, <laughs> <laughs> it was freaking me out a little. I can't lie. <laughs> Yeah, I will say, um, I am happy about one thing. What's that? His newer stuff, and when I say newer, I mean like even farther. 20 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> newer than I, the 40 I years like ago? I like that it lost some of the, his his older stuff has had very brash guitar noise in mm -hmm. it, right? And although there's a lot of that I still really liked, I've always really liked the stuff that had had kind of a more melodic guitar sound. Mm. Well, so. Levi Stubbs' Tears will still be my favorite. Oh, yeah. No, you're absolutely right. One. But, I mean, those are the ones I tend to like more, and I like that his newer stuff has a lot more like that. Mm. Right? So. Mm. Well, he still sounds like himself. He's still got it. Yeah, there's absolutely no doubt at all. If a Billy Bragg song comes on the radio. It's Billy. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Would that ever come on the radio? I don't know if I've ever heard Billy Bragg to, on the I radio. I used to hear Billy Bragg on CFNY. 102.1. Maybe just one or two. The spirit of radio back in the 80s. Yeah. Maybe sexuality. No, earlier than that, I first heard Levi Stubbs' Tears on Thank CFMY. You. Yeah. Mm. Yep. I heard my very first experience with Billy Bragg was working at the kitchen in Kelsey's, where I grew up at the age of 14. One of the dudes who was a line cook in the kitchen, Mike, I won't give his last name even though I remember it, he was a huge Billy Bragg fan, mm -hmm. and he had it on a loop and got me hooked, and I have <laughs> been hooked since then. <laughs> I have not been able to turn my head away. So, yeah. Well, why would you want to? It's a nice little... It's good. It wasn't even a walk down memory lane, but it felt like it. Yeah. Right? Yep. Because <laughs> it's a newer song, but it still felt like a walk down memory lane. For sure. Anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed that too, and eh, he's an icon, guys. If you're Billy Bragg fans, put it in the comments. What's your favorite? Lots, lots of good choices stuff. over a, there are lots a of number of choices. decades. I'd have a hard time yeah. picking an absolute favorite, but yeah, I'll think about it and maybe I'll put a comment to say. And in the meantime, you can play that again.
Or does it get stuck in your... <laughs> Ginger's got the practical question. <laughs> I'll hold your upper part still while you shake, baby. Help you learn. The coconut just fell right behind us. You good, bro. And we go do 